हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल पीटी सिक्स इंजन शॉर्ट फिमिलराइजेशन कोर्स मशीन्स 1.1 दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट मेड फॉर एजुकेशनल पर्पसेस अलाउंस इज मेड अंडर सेक्शन 107 ऑफ द कॉपीराइट एक्ट 1976 फॉर फेयर यूज पर्पसेस दिस वीडियो हैज नो नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन द रिजल्ट वर्क दिस वीडियो इज आल्सो फॉर जस्ट टीचिंग पर्पसेस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो पीटी सिक्स इंजन ओवरव्यू दिस इज द डायग्राम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू जस्ट लुक एट दिस डायग्राम केयरफुली वी विल स्टडी दिस इंजन बाय दिस डायग्राम ओके लेट्स गो फर्दर PT6 engine is a lightweight turbine engine driving propeller by two stage reduction gear boxes two major rotating assemblies compose the heart of the engine one assembly consists of the compressor and the compressor turbine okay where is the the number one assembly here is in this position and now the number two uh, the other consists of one power turbines and power turbine shaft here are the power turbines and this is the power turbine shaft okay these are the two assemblies Now let's go further. This design is referred to as a free turbine engine. This configuration allows the pilot to vary the propeller speed independently of these compress of the compressor speed. Sorry. Now, uh, how this engine is uh, called free turbine engine? Uh, let me show you. Uh, in this area of the engine, uh, let me mark it. Okay, this area. This area is not coupled together directly. Here is the one shaft. All these things are uh, connected in this shaft, and here is the second shaft. All these things are connected on this shaft. Okay, between these two shafts, there are uh, no uh, linkage, any type of linkage, just air coupled. That's why this is called uh, free turbine. Okay, air coupled. Let's go further. Now, uh, starter cranking torque is low since only the compressor is rotated in the start. Activating the starter mounted on accessory gearbox starts the engine. Okay, starter generator which is mounted on accessory gearbox called AGB helps to start this engine. And this AGB is installed in this area of the engine in front of the engine. Now let's go further. Okay, here is the diagram of the AGB and uh, this uh, thing is the uh, starter generator. duck of the starter generator mentioned okay and this is all the agb got it now let's go for compressor draws air into the engine via annular palinum chamber and increase pressure across its axial stages and one centrifugal impeller and lever it to the combustion chamber now uh, i will describe this by this uh, diagram okay first of all uh the starter generator which is installed on the agb here here in this area helps to rotate this area called compressor here are the compressor installed now starter generator uh, rotates the compressor and uh, what will happen next the compressor sucks the air from this area inlet of the engine and this air goes directly to the combustion chamber okay and uh, uh, this is the initial stage uh, before uh, engine is started okay how this engine is started okay this is that process now what will happen next air enters into the combustion chamber via small holes at correct compressor rpm or speed uh, fuel is introduced into the combustion chamber two spark igniters located into the combustion chamber ignites the mixture the hot gases are directed to the turbine area now let me describe this thing it says that the when air enters into this area called combustion chamber okay uh, combustion chamber at uh, uh, type of set rpms or speed of the compressor uh, i think uh, that speed is 49 plus minus 1 uh, round about when uh, uh, the engine is rotating at a uh, speed which is set by a manufacturer uh, at some speed uh, these two spark igniters which are installed here and here it will generate spark and ignition is uh, produced in this combustion chamber in this area and due to that ignition uh, fuel also in start entering in this area when uh, this uh, process starts and all the hot gases uh, will go direct uh, to the these uh, turbines power turbine and compressor turbine and then uh, these all gases uh, go out from the exhaust area now at this point our engine is called self sustained when this process starts 
our engine is self sustained because uh, our starter generator cuts off and all the power all the rotating uh, power is taken from these turbines which are rotated by uh, these hot gases produced by the combustion chamber of this engine i hope you got uh, this point okay at this point the ignition and starter are turned off which i told you before since a uh, um, continuous flame is exist in the combustion chamber hot gases uh, com expanding gases accelerate through the co compressor turbine vane ring and hits the turbine blades which creates the rotational movement of the compressor turbine to drive the compressor the expanding gases travel through the compressor turbine area and provide rotational energy to drive the shaft i told this before in my own words i hope you, uh, now you are clear very clear by this statement now uh, here is the engine uh, first of all accessory gearbox uh, which i uh, told you before which are uh, accessory gearbox is installed here and then uh, compressor and here are the compressors okay this is the compressor area okay then uh, in this engine two turbines are installed the one is the compressor turbine and then power turbine power turbine and then uh, here is the reduction uh, gearboxes and the uh, power shaft uh, which will give power to the router or uh, to the aircraft okay and how uh, this area um, rotate this area uh, will take power from uh, compressor through this shaft okay now here are the stations of this engine there are seven stations of the engine uh, which are mentioned uh, in front of you the number one is the air intake the number two is the compressor inlet the number 2.5 is the compressor interstage the number three is the compressor discharge pressure the number four is the compressor turbine inlet the number five is the inter turbine the number six is the turbine exhaust the number seven is the exhaust outlet they uh, these are the seven stations of this engine gas generator section okay these are the internal parts of the gas generator section uh, all the components are mentioned you have to uh, look these carefully okay i hope you like this video i try to uh, speak in english uh, and uh, i tried to explain it uh, in my own words uh, so you uh, can easily understand uh, these this topic uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more informative videos. Machines 1.1.